Healthy Me, health, wellness, nutrition and fitness on Lunchtime Live with Saskia V. It is brought to you by Renewal Institute and we've got the founder of Renewal Institute, Dr. Maureen Allen in studio. Welcome back. Thank you. Really nice to have you here. Um, so you started, it was called Skin Renewal when you first mm. started it. And that was 12 years ago now. Uh, yes. 2005. Yeah. Right. And it went from one branch to 16. You now have 16 branches. Yes, slowly over time, yes. Sure. And you've got different, different areas now as well. Uh, different disciplines, yeah. So it's Skin, skin renewal. renewal, which does all the skin and anti-aging aesthetic treatments. Mm-hmm. Then we have Body Renewal, which does the medical weight loss program. And we also do body treatments like cellulite, uh, you know, loose skin, laser hair removal. So, so everything, uh, uh, everything to do with the body. Fat removal, you know, fat freezing, fat dissolving. And then this all led up to health renewal because at Skin Renewal, uh, at the Renewal Institute, we treat you from the inside out. So we make sure that everything is that you have optim- uh, optimal health. And that's it. So it's a holistic approach. That's yes. what I love about it. So you're not just coming to me, okay, your skin's like this, so we're just going to... You know, try and just do something. Tweak this and tweak that. No. You really look at the well, whole We always body, tell patients so that there are the four pillars of anti aging, which are the injectables, which we're going to talk about today, mm-hmm. which are the Botox, the fillers, the threads. Then the second part of this four pillar success would be doing uh, in uh, clinic uh, skin treatments. Because you can use topicals, but you're lucky if they change your skin you know, by 10%. So you have to do in, so if you want to change your skin and, you know, uh, uh, and condition your skin, you have to do in-clinic treatments. And then you maintain this with good topicals, with uh, medical strength active ingredients you know, to ensure that 10% change. And then we have to look at lifestyle. You know, do you smoke? Mm-hmm. Do you exercise? What How do you, do you sleep? Yes, and if you're also not got sleeping, sleep renewal. You know, yeah, if you're not sleeping correctly and, and you're not getting restorative sleep, then you aren't balancing your hormones and you aren't restoring your body. So it's vital to get proper, you know, the proper five stages of sleep as well. So people think they're sleeping, but very often they're taking sleeping tablets and that is stopping their restorative sleep. They don't realize that they might be sleeping, they might knock themselves out for seven, eight hours, but they're not getting that restorative cycle. The deep sleep and the you know, rapid eye movement sleep, because that is when the body restores itself and that's when all the memories back up. So that is your, uh, basically your backup time. Hmm. And about four or five stages during the night. You go from stage one, stage two, stage three. That's when your toddler wakes you up RM. during that. You wanna, you yeah, know? that's why you feel so bad in the morning. Because <laughs> you haven't had restorative you're bra- sleep. And you're breaking that, that cycle. And then your yeah. short-term memory starts going and people think, huh, you know, see? This That's is why I don't have a short-term memory. They're getting senile moments, but they're actually, dam- you know, not getting their memories backed up. So it's quite serious. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's amazing. People don't realize how important how sleep important is. How important that? No, no, completely. So okay. that led on to health renewal, getting optimal health, not waiting till you're sick until your car actually breaks down. I mean, you take your car to have it serv- you know, to have it serviced twice a year. So the same way you go and you sort mm. out to see whether your all your labs and your health is optimal. And that's what we look at. We look at a lot of other uh, parameters, you know, to see your, your markers of inflammation, you know, your detoxification. There's a whole, there's a whole grid that we work towards. So that's more to a make preventive. To sure that everything's preventative, optimal. Preventative, yeah. And then the sleep renewal, we make sure that you're sleeping properly. And the only way you can really do that, you know, if, uh, uh, if you are suffering from insomnia, go check it out, see what's going on. And if you've got chronic mm-hmm. fatigue, Go have a sleep study to see why you're so exhausted in the morning after you've slept the whole night. What does a sleep study entail? You know, normally, you'd, usually, uh, in the past, you'd have to go into a hospital and sleep there, and, you know, it's quite expensive. But now, uh, a very accepted way of doing things is having a sleep study, which you can do in, you know, uh, in your home. So you come into come into the clinic and then the sleep therapist gets you up. There's a Bluetooth uh, uh, apparatus that kicks in at a certain time. You tell her what time that you go to sleep and so all the data is, is recorded on a Bluetooth um, little black thing uh, on okay, your chest. Okay, so you do that at yes, home and, and then, then you come, come back, back with, stuff in the with morning the data. And then we send it off to the sleep therapist, you know, the, the neurophysiologist and then uh-huh. she looks at your sleep. Fascinating. Okay, okay. So, so, all so those, you've got all these pillars have to be done. Yeah. of Renewal okay. Institute. Um, so it's it's not just skin renewal like it used no. to be. There are, it's it's pretty much completely holistic. Anything and our you're doctors kind of are all trained for. that way as well. So you know, if you come sure. there, they're going to ask you certain questions. You know, we treat treat a lot of skin conditions. It also have to be treated from the inside out. 
and then you know talking about injectables today we all know that Botox started this whole anti-aging revolution about 25 years ago and you started doing Botox sort of about 20, yeah, about in your 2000 in yeah. your garage or something no 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 my garage ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, where was it thanks very much you were <laughs> no it was you it were was one in of my the home. first. Some of my patients are still seeing me today. You know, a lot at of my your patients, home. and they still say, yeah, not, I don't know why I have it in your brain, this garage, because it's no, from no, your no. house, so I have this I idea. I know, you get this garage from the garage. Like, you know, like the IT guys work from their garage. No, no. I worked from a beautiful room in my beautiful apartment. <laughs> but you shop. did it by yourself. Yes. You were super and interested in it. And I used to take my, so I used to hold my cell phone and take all the calls on cell phone and arrange appointments, and eventually got busier. And then eventually, I, you know, I had to move out. Because the body corporate actually kicked me out. They said, I can't have, this, can't business have this business. can't have this business, yeah. yeah. And then I opened my <laughs> first branch. They actually did me a huge favor. Thank you, body corporate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any questions you have about any injectables? Botox, fillers, you mentioned threads. Oh, there's so many injectables gonna, you can do. Okay, so we'll discuss all of those. Yeah, so any questions you have, 41348 or 084820938. We are chatting to the founder of Renewal Institute, Dr. Maureen Allen. Um, <laughs> so you started 12 years ago you are now super successful you've got 16 branches and you guys do pretty much everything um, there's different websites do they kind of all redirect to each other yes okay so you can go to skin renewal and then or the, at the bottom you'll see the you know the body renewal health renewal sleep renewal okay so you links. can click on all yeah. of them okay mm. fantastic we are talking about injectable treatments today um, Maureen who should one see for injectables Okay, so because botulinum toxin, which is, you know, the common name is Botox, which is like Kleenex is now taken over from a tissue. So Botox, we call it Botox, but there are two registered botulinum toxins uh, in the country. And mm -hmm. so it's bo Botox, which is made by American firm Allergan. And then there's the Disport, which is made by Ipsen Beaufort, which is a French-British firm. So there are two different kinds of registered Botox. And okay. those are the only ones that doctors, registered doctors should use. Which and one you, do you prefer? I use both. So it, it yeah, depends. You know, it just depends if the, you know, because uh, we have to use the Botox, you know, Botox up. So, so if it's been opened in the morning by the doctor uh, and they finish at one and then the next doctor takes over, we finish that well. Okay. To, okay. to make sure that the Botox, that the botulinum is fresh. That's the freshest. Yeah. Okay. So, so I use whatever's you know, left in the fridge and then I just continue using that and then open whatever next. What does Botox actually do? So it relaxes the muscle. It gets into the nerve end plate and that Botox molecules made from a heavier, a heavier and a light chain, and when it gets into the body, when it gets into the muscle, it actually spits, and the light chain uh, w works on the nerve end terminal and relaxes the muscle, and then the heavy chain just gets, you know, just, uh, gets metabolized by the body. So okay. It's, so it's actually not Botox anymore once it actually gets into, you know, tissue. If you know what I mean? Because there's two parts of the Botox. So Botox, the, the, the point is to kind of get rid of frown yeah, so what lines. It does, you know, what would you use Botox If you inject in for? certain areas, like in the middle of the brow, for, you know, for this frown line, very peop a lot of people look straight. So by injecting a little bit of Botox there, you actually relax that muscle mm -hmm. and you take on a fresh appearance. And by putting Botox very st strategically on the forehead, you can actually get a brow lift. So, so okay, it's amazing, you okay. know, 10 days later when the botulinum, you know, kicks in, your whole face takes on a different fresh look. That's what's so addictive. You know, that's what, that's what the you know, patients love about the Botox. You know, the, the people, you start getting compliments. That's what I say to my patients. Mm. That, you know, when they ask, when do I come back? You come back when you stop, stop getting compliments. <laughs> No, so but how, but how, how long like that. is that about? People saying you look tired and then you know, oh my goodness, my Botox, my like Botox, months, is, my not Botox is good. Okay, off. so it takes a few months. It will last a few months. Yeah, it depends. The more you put in, the longer it lasts. The more little nerve implants are relaxed the longer the Botox effect is going to last. So if you put very little, like we call baby Botox, a very fresh, natural look, but then you're only using, say, two-thirds of the actual dose, and then okay. you, can, you can expect it to last two and a half, three months. So the more you put in, the longer it lasts. And what does something like that cost? So if I came for a two-thirds of, of an amount... Do I need more than depends that? On how many, <laughs> so it depends on how many areas you do. So if you look at the one area here where, you, where you've got these 11s in the middle of your brow, yeah. the frown, that's 20 units. Mm -hmm. Then you, you know, if you lift your brows up, you know, if you look surprised, that, those horizontal lines, that's the top of the, uh, the upper forehead, that's also 15 to 20 units. And then the eyes, it depends also because you can also get an eye lift where you put it, you know, um, 
higher up under the brow. So uh, also 12 to 20 units you can use on your eyes. So normally baby Botox, you use 40 units and it'll cost you about 3,000 rand. Okay, about 3,000. To do it's three good. areas or you do 1,500 to do one area. Okay, so it's just, it's good to know, sort of, you know, if you are How saving for this, expect, if you, yeah. yeah. <coughs> but if you do come to a renewal institute, for Botox, you'd obviously come to a skin renewal. Um, but you can also work with people with regard to their budgets. So absolutely. If they say, Look, this is what I have. Yes, no, it, absolutely. You know, what is your budget? What do you, you know, plan to and then spend you, on you, yourself today? And you know, kind of what do you... you yeah. What do you want and what is your budget? Yes, and, and then, then you, you tell them what they can expect. And, okay, you know, cool. So, so it's all... To, Depending on budget and expectations. We're chatting to the founder of Renewal Institute, Dr. Maureen Allen. Maureen, there are other injectables as well. Um, what sort of injectable treatments are available other than Botox? Okay, so Botox relaxes the brow, relaxes the, you know, the crow's feet around the eyes. It can also relax jowls that are falling down and lift them up. And so they relax. And then I say, you know, you get the fillers which replace volume. So it's actually like natural polyfiller. So if you've got a crack in the wall, you've got to polyfill that crack before you can paint. So basically that's what it is. We actually put fillers in those fine lines in, uh, in certain areas on the face. So we fill up these small wrinkles. And then the other uh, function of fillers is to put the shape back in the face. Because very often as you get older, from the age of 35, you start getting nasolabial lines. Mm -hmm. Because the mid part of your face is dropping. You know, with age and with the way we sleep and loss of collagen and loss of muscle and loss of bone it all starts dropping and you start getting so it all lands up on the jowls okay so that's mm -hmm. when we start p putting fillers on the you know uh, on the cheeks to create a different shape to the face so instead of having a inverted tri um, a, in a pyramid shape you want to get an, an inverted triangle so pyramid you have the jowls so if your nose is the tip of the, the triangle your jowls are the base yes, of the pyramid. Okay. So you don't I want that see, look. Yeah. You want to get the... You want your uh, cheekbones to look ease. higher. Yeah. So we put fillers in strategic places to give a effect of a lift. Okay. And then also patients have very dark circles under their eyes because as you get older, you also start losing the volume under your eyes. Mm -hmm. So we start putting fillers there. But that's a very uh, specialized area. And you need to know what you're doing. That's why you need to go to a doctor who does lots of these per day and per month. Okay. That because it's very specialized. And you have to go to someone where, you know, uh, if there is a problem, because the eyes are very unforgiving, you can go back to that doctor and have it fixed. Okay. They can fix it. So, you know, we so tell patients. So that's important if you're you know, doing the, anything under your eyes. That can happen because the eyelid skin is very thin. And the fillers act as sponges and they pull in fluid and you can get, you know, puffy eyes. So you need to go to someone who can hmm. fix that. She sure. knows how to fix it. Um, which treatments, also he's asking, which treatment has the best results? Botox, fillers, or PRP? Vampire facelift. <laughs> okay, so they all have different, uh, different indications. They all, you know, it's not just one treatment. They all work together. So if you want a quick, fresh look, not looking so stressed, then you do a little bit of Botox on your forehead. But Botox is not going to fix the hollowness in your cheeks or give you, you know, plumped up lips or rejuvenate the lips. So each, so each uh, okay. injectable has its place. What's PRP? PRP is platelet-rich plasma, which is like the new, it's actually been going for the last 12 years. But so what you do is you take your blood, well, the sister or the, or the doctor draws your blood, and then you spin it down in a special centrifuge. And then you lock off the red blood cells and then you spin your plasma, you know, the yellow part of your blood, mm -hmm. you spin that again and then you inject that or needle it back into the face. So that's different again from Botox. That does, that conditions your whole face and at the Renewal Institute we do the face, we do the neck, we do the chest and we do the hands. So that reconditions the skin, okay. which is different effect from what Botox does. Okay, so they're all do different, but that's yeah, why you need to come into a renewal. Yes, interview. and we have to see what's going to be, you know, what you're going to get the best money for, for, your, for you. The best result for your money huh. that you have for, for, for your budget. Um, who said, D says, can anything be done about a wrinkled neck? But then you also mentioned Absolutely you can do Botox, not. you can do, can uh, do. in-office skin treatments. We've got a new treatment now, which is called redermalization, which is a very, very lightweight filler which you can put anywhere on the body. It's quite amazing. And I haven't had one patient who hasn't come back and said, wow, that works. This is a, huh. So this is a very light filler, uh, 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 plus an ingredient called succinic acid, which uh, energizes the mitochondria. So obviously increases skin conditioning. So, so what we do is we leave with, uh, these tiny blebs of this very lightweight filler. It's actually called bubble therapy because you look, for a day you look like you've got little bubbles, like that, uh, there's a, 
tribe in Kenya that actually does keloids like that, the Tomosa tribe. So you leave with all these little bubbles, and by the next day, depending on the area, the neck, like the face, it works very quickly. You, uh, the, uh, those bubbles go down very quickly, but it's amazing how that combination redermalizes the skin. So that's another one of our huh. tools we have in our toolbox okay. to redermalize skin. So there's lots of things that people also maybe don't even know about. No, absolutely. So if you go we must have to 50 different treatments that we do. Sure. Um, how can people find out more info? Okay, so you've got to go uh, onto our website or f- uh, www.skinrenewal.co.za and then, you, and then you'll, said, you'll see find all, all the links indications there. are there at okay. the bottom. You'll see body renewal and you can go onto that link or sleep renewal or health renewal okay, or perfect. brain renewal. And it all links up. We can also call you. It's quite an easy number, hey? And then it's 0861 Skin SA. Skin SA, yeah. Okay, we're going to have and to wrap it up because we're very late for news already. <laughs> okay. um, is there anything else that you wanted to mention? And it's just that you don't have to have that frozen look. You know, depending on the doctor, that's why it's so important to go to a doctor that's who knows it. what can they're you, doing. Can yeah. you still look nice Absolutely. and natural you look, and normal? You should look fabulous. You should, but okay. you can, and you know, if you go to the wrong person, you can look worse because you can drop your brows. So the person must know to, to identify where this brow is going to drop. So you should get a brow lift and you, can, and, and you look great without being frozen. Yes, you do want some emotion still on your face yeah, Absolutely, as well. yeah. Okay, I don't want to look like... So not give too much, but not too little. Yes, and give it in the it. right places, otherwise it could be a problem. And with time, say you do something like this, or you do Botox for your whole life, is it eventually going to make it's you It's amazing how it's anti like you know, They've actually done trials on 30-year-old twins. The one did Botox for 10 years, the other one didn't. And after 10 years, at the age of 40, they took photos, and you can't believe the difference. Really? So when you start early enough, because you prevent that downward sag, which helps with gravity adds to on the brows and on the jawline. So if you start, and if you know, uh, so if you start uh, uh, injecting from the age of 30, you actually have an anti-aging effect. Oh, see, I should start. Are there any side effects to this? If you don't know what you're doing, look with Botox, it's actually safer than Panada or, or aspirin, really. Uh, everything comes right. You know, if something does happen, it will come right again. Okay. If you can get a drop, do you get a drop brow? lateral brow or you can get a dropped eyelid if you don't know what you're doing so you've got to go to someone who knows what they're doing doing. or if you inject around the mouth you can get a skew mouth so please just go to someone who knows and it does it many times a day okay oh awesome so great having you in dr maureen allen i'm the founder of renewal institute you can go to skinrenewal.co.za or call them 0861 skin sa thank you so much thanks healthy me health wellness nutrition and fitness on lunchtime live with saskia v